Gothard Base Tunnel, Switzerland The Gothard Base Tunnel, or GBT, is the world's longest railway tunnel, measuring 57 kilometers in length and serves as the centerpiece of the new rail link over the Alps, or NRLA. It personifies Swiss qualities like inventiveness, accuracy, and dependability. The Gothard Base Tunnel connects north and south more quickly and reliably for both people and freight. SBB is pleased to operate the world's longest railway tunnel. Faster, more frequent, more convenient services, as well as new and modernized rolling stock, will significantly improve transportation quality along the north-south axis. More seats will also benefit customers. The enhancements will be implemented progressively beginning at the end of 2016 and will be fully realized by the end of 2020. Simultaneously, SBB will vigorously promote the Gothard region and the mountain route. SBB anticipates that demand for passenger services will nearly double by 2025, with passenger numbers increasing from 9,000 to about 15,000 per day. More new trains will be built to fulfill the increased passenger demand. When it comes to freight traffic, the new Gothard Tunnel will boost capacity, speed, and dependability. Customers of SBB Cargo will benefit from effective, congested-free, and ecologically responsible logistics solutions. Channel Tunnel Europe The Channel Tunnel, often known as the Euro Tunnel, is a rail tunnel that connects England and France and runs beneath the English Channel. The 50 kilometers long Channel Tunnel is divided into three tunnels, two for rail traffic and one for services and security. The tunnel connects Folkestone in England to Sangat near Calais in France and is used for both freight and passenger traffic. Passengers have two options for transportation, normal train cars or their own cars loaded onto special rail cars. The tunnel can handle trains moving at up to 160 km per hour. The trip takes about 35 minutes. It has the world's longest undersea section of any tunnel at 37.8 km. The long-debated notion of building a tunnel beneath the English Channel was reintroduced in 1986 by the United Kingdom and France. The project was privately financed by a combination of British and French enterprises and banks. Euro Tunnel operates a tunnel. Alternatives to a rail tunnel included a very long suspension bridge, a bridge and tunnel link, and a combined rail and road link. Digging began in 1987 to 88 in both sides of the Dover Strait and was completed in 1991. On May 6, 1994, the tunnel was formally opened. The issue of immigrants sneaking aboard cars and trains in an effort to immigrate to the United Kingdom reached crisis proportions in June and July 2015. Many of these migrants were from Eastern Africa. At least nine people died during that time while attempting to travel through the tunnel to reach England. To try to discourage migrants from trying to passage, the United Kingdom and France increased security measures. Chio Shinkansen, Japan The Chio Shinkansen project was started by Japan Airlines and the now-defunct Japanese National Railways before the Central Japan Railway Company took over the infrastructure and research. The construction of the line received approval from the Japanese government in May 2011 with a budget of more than 9 trillion yen. Work started in 2014. The 286-kilometer route to Nagoya will be built underground or through tunnels for over 90% of its length. There are now nine Shinkansen lines that may transport you to various parts of Japan and are accessible with the Japan Rail Pass. The most well-known route is the Tokaido Shinkansen, which runs from the capital of Japan to Osaka in the south. The Tokaido Shinkansen is not only the world's oldest high-speed rail line, but it's also one of the most heavily used. As a result, the Japanese government has begun work on the Chio Shinkansen, a new maglev train route that will eventually connect Tokyo and Osaka. Using groundbreaking superconducting maglev or SC maglev technology, the new line will first travel in under 40 minutes from Tokyo to Nagoya, the nation's Aichi prefecture's capital. The Chio Shinkansen is scheduled to connect Tokyo and Osaka in around 67 minutes with a top speed of 314 miles per hour. Once operational, the Japan Rail Pass will be valid for travel on the Chio Shinkansen maglev as well as the nine existing Shinkansen bullet train lines. Doha Metro Rail, Qatar On September 25, 2016, at 10.44 a.m. local time, the 7-meter tunnel boring machine, Mshrab, pierces the final target wall of the red line south with precision. It is the final of 76 breakthroughs in the massive Doha Metro project. The TBM's passage marks the end of one of the world's most ambitious tunnel structures. Klein Qatar Rail cleverly master-planned the provision of three citywide metro lines with 111 kilometers of ultra-modern tunnel systems in just 26 months. According to Qatar Rail, the entire completion rate of the Doha Metro Phase 1 project was 50% by the end of September 2016. 
At an official completion ceremony, high-level political guests such as Qatari Prime Minister and Minister of the Interior H. E. Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani, Qatari Minister of Transport and Communication H. E. Asim Saif Ahmed Al Sulaiti, and the ambassadors of France, Korea, and Japan in Qatar expressed their admiration. Around 200 guests toasted a unique technical construction and engineering achievement, including Qatar Rail's top management and key representatives of the joint venture contractors, as well as Herringknecht Chairman of the Board of Management, Dr. Ng E. H. Martin Herringknecht. Hanford Nuclear Waste Site, Washington The Hanford site is a decommissioned nuclear industrial site on the Columbia River in Benton County, Washington, maintained by the United States federal government. The B reactor, the world's first full-scale plutonium production reactor, was built near Hanford, South Central Washington as part of the Manhattan Project in 1943. Plutonium produced in the facility was used in the first nuclear bomb, which was tested at Trinity as well as Fat Man, the atomic bomb that was detonated over Nagasaki, Japan. The Hanford facility handled 7-9% to of all nuclear waste in the U.S. and 60% of the high level of radioactive waste managed by the U.S. Department of Energy in 2007. The DOE manages 15% of nuclear waste in the U.S., with the remaining 85% being commercial spent nuclear fuel. Currently, Hanford is the most polluted nuclear site in the United States. It's also the site of the country's greatest environmental cleanup. In addition to the cleanup project, Hanford is home to the Columbia Generating Station, a commercial nuclear power plant, and a number of scientific research and development establishments such as the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, the Fast Flux Test Facility, and the LIGO Hanford Observatory. Panama Canal Expansion Panama the Panama Canal enlargement, also known as the Third Set of Locks Project, quadrupled the Panama Canal's capacity by adding a new lane of traffic and expanding the width and depth of the lanes and locks to allow larger ships to pass. The new Panamax ships are roughly one and a half times the size of the previous Panamax ships and can carry more than twice as much cargo. On June 26, 2016, the expanded canal opened for business. Two new sets of locks were constructed as part of the project, one on each of the Atlantic and Pacific sides and new channels were dug to access them. Additionally, existing channels were widened and deeper. Increased Cotton Lake's maximum operational water level. On April 24, 2006, then Panamanian President Martin Torrijos formally proposed the idea, claiming that it'll transform Panama into a first world country. On October 22, a national referendum endorsed the idea with a 76.8% majority, and the cabinet and national assembly followed suit. The project officially started in 2007. It was initially intended to be completed in August 2014 to coincide with the 100th anniversary of the opening of the Panama Canal. The enlargement was completed on June 26, 2016, despite extra challenges such as seepage from the new locks. The canal's capacity was increased as a result of the enlargement, 